This is The Big Question with Dr. Ellie Gonzalez, brought to you by Good News Unlimited, tackling the big questions in a simple and positive way. And today's big question is, was Jesus married? In Dan Brown's 2003 novel, The Da Vinci Code, he claimed that Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene and had children. It's a novel, but many people believe it's true. It's actually not a new idea. It pops up every now and then, and it's an important question. You see, if Jesus was actually married and had children, it undermines the truth of everything meaningful that Christianity has to say. It means that what the Bible tells us about Jesus is false. And if that's the case, then how could you believe that he died to save the world from sin? It leads you to see Christianity as a giant hoax. So what's the truth? Did Jesus marry Mary Magdalene and have children who, with her, later went to France? Well, there's absolutely not one bit of historical evidence to support that idea. There's thousands of ancient texts about Jesus, yet not one of them mentions Jesus as ever being married, nor is there any archaeological evidence that supports the idea. So where does the idea come from? From time to time, there's an announcement of a new ancient manuscript, a so-called lost gospel that's just been discovered. And supposedly, if you read between the lines, you'll have some kind of evidence that Jesus was married. But have you noticed that the academics and historians ignore these supposed discoveries? Why? Firstly, because again, there's no actual evidence in them that supports the idea of Jesus being married or having kids. And secondly, They were written hundreds of years after the actual life of Jesus Christ. Why would you go hunting for dirt on Jesus in documents from many generations after his lifetime when you have the actual eyewitness reports easily available? And they say nothing about Jesus being married to Mary Magdalene or having children. The key issue is this. Was Jesus of Nazareth just a man or someone far greater? The people who actually knew him had no doubts. John, one of Jesus' first followers, wrote, We are eyewitnesses, the very life of all ages, the life that has always existed, actually became visible in person to us mortal men. That's eyewitness evidence. It's evidence that, although fully human, the life of Jesus of Nazareth rose far above the lives of everyday people in terms of who he was and what he did. He didn't have time to get married and have children because he came to save the world. For more, contact goodnewsunlimited.com.